If you guys want to control your fans on uh, the MacBook uh, latest version with Apple Silicon chipset, and even on the uh, oldest version, uh, today we have this utility completely free Max fan control was recently updated for Apple Silicon and uh, I don't think other utilities can do that today. I had this TG uh, Pro that uh, just displayed the, uh, the fan uh, RPM and the temperature because it's the only application that had the uh, the hardware, the sensor software for uh, controlling that other software. I don't think that if they're updated today, but there was no there was no way to control manually the fans. So today, this utility uh, can allow you to control manually your fan. And in this case, on my MacBook Air Pro, I only have one fans on the right side. On the MacBook Air, you won't have any fans. And on the uh, oldest uh, MacBook Pro, you probably have two fans to control. So, uh, at this time, my MacBook is 40 degrees cold, so fan is off. See if I put full blast, maybe you can hear if I deplace my microphone. So, I don't know if you guys can hear, but it's turning full speed at uh, almost 7000 RPM. So. I'm manually controlling uh, the fans, so you can easily do this with uh, these utilities. So I just want to stop it to automatics, and it will stop at zero. So uh, very cool. If you have uh, the uh, oldest MacBook, you have two fans, and you can control it manually. Okay, so it was just a quick video about a tool that you have today uh, on your MacBook M1. Uh, right, so that's all for today, you guys, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.